Burdine is live right now at Arlington Police Headquarters to tell us what the citizens want from police and those cameras. Nikki? Right, still a lot of questions about how this will all work out, but that's what a pilot program is for. Today, we talked with the Arlington County police officer who is testing out this program and got a firsthand look at the camera. With just a double tap, the camera starts recording both audio and video. It's simple use. On day one of the program, this officer has already used the body camera four times. With a couple exceptions, anytime we interact with anybody on duty. Ashley Savage with the Arlington County Police Department says officers will be required to turn the camera on during a call for service. They cannot turn it off at you know any portion of the contact. We need to record the whole thing. Once on, the camera will automatically record 30 seconds prior. Now, in the state of Virginia, officers are not required to tell you you are being recorded. Most people we spoke to say that's a non-issue for them. What does concern them, how these cameras will be regulated. I can't see any bad side to it. So long as they don't turn them off. Terry Adams is a criminal defense attorney. He knows body cameras could have a big impact on his clients, but he has an especially unique perspective on the issue. He spent 18 years as a sheriff's deputy in Arlington. If the officers are required to activate their own camera, it gets really dicey because they're in a hurry. It's an emergency situation, perhaps, and so you'll miss a lot of what happened before and what happened before is the most important part. Arlington County Police say they have those same concerns, and that's what this pilot program is for, to determine what works and what doesn't. It'll be a good test, you know, the first priority call that goes out, you know, and your blood starts pumping and all that stuff, you know, do you remember to double, double tap it? But. After an officer's shift is over, he'll upload all of his video from that day to a cloud-based service. Now, how long will that video be saved? Well, it depends on what was recorded that day. Now, for example, if it was a serious offense that is still unresolved, that video must be saved for 100 years. And that's where a big portion of this cost for this program will come from. Saving all of that data can get very expensive. We're live in Arlington. I'm Nikki Burdine, WUSA 9.